The topic for this lesson, that is the automatic writing controversy, could very well be the very reason you joined this course in the first place, but it is a big deal. This will be the longest lesson, but it's worth watching every minute of it. What caught the Enneagram community by storm was a YouTube video of an interview with Claudio Naranjo in June of 2010, where he claims he got the Enneatypes from automatic writing. Now, before we go any further, let's watch the clip of Naranjo together. So at, uh, at the conference, I told them I had made up this tale that all this came from millennia ago well, and, from, and that this information came from the Sufis. Yes. I told him that actually Oscar Richardson had not described any of the enneotypes either. Actually, in the uh, uh, seven months we spent with him, he devoted about six hours to talk about the enneagram, but he never came to describe any one of the types. That was right. Enrique, oh, that came from Enrique Chile. Enrique Chile, yeah. 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 So that yeah. came from my own uh, observations, but mostly from automatic writing. It automatic from, writing? Yeah, it came to me through automatic writing. What did? Uh, the, the specific information and it's any types. Ab, ab, about any types, which yes. I then verified through observation, right. because the, I was surrounded by people right. I was teaching and exploring with. And I had, <clears> I had <throat> friends in Enrique who told me essentially the same story, yeah. That John there Hilly. was no mention of no others besides. You yes. said there was no mention of any of the types except from you. Yes. So that you were the origin <clears throat> of the enneotype concept, and you were the origin of the word enneotype. Yes. You suggested it, and I adopted yes. that idea. Okay, let's talk about automatic writing. This is the biggest hang-up for why many Christians are fearful of or advocates against the enneagram. I have to be honest. At first glance, this was very shocking for me when as a Christian I saw this for the first time and hadn't heard it before. I had, didn't have any context, I didn't know what to think. But let me ask you a question. Have you ever known someone to take a Bible verse out of context? Raise your hand. Have you ever heard someone quote a Bible verse and import their own meaning onto it? Yep. And that's what's going on here. Just as someone might assume they know what a word is in the Bible without knowing Greek, right, without knowing the ancient Near Eastern values and so forth, so too do people jump the gun in putting words into Naranjo's mouth. Right, watching a YouTube video of Naranjo doesn't mean you understand New Age terms nor understand the life and teaching of Naranjo. So let's first tackle the question of what is automatic writing. Here's a working definition. Automatic writing is thought to be performed without conscious thought or deliberation, typically by means of spontaneous free association, as a means for divine guidance, or by spirits and or psychic forces. People have looked at a definition like this and have automatically assumed that Naranjo means the latter, that he did indeed receive the enneotypes from a spirit, and go even further to say he received it from a demon, Hence, the Enneagram is a demonic tool for many. I reached out to Catherine Favre, the famous Enneagram teacher who developed the idea of tri-types and studied under Naranjo in the 90s because I wanted to get her thoughts on the automatic writing controversy. And she told me that Naranjo used the metaphor of automatic writing based on just one aspect of the definition of automatic writing, but not the spirits or psychic forces part of the definition. Here is Favre's explanation. Quote, in 1996, Naranjo used the metaphor of automatic writing, but went on to explain what he meant by it. He described it as free associations based on his experience and expertise as a psychiatrist and a psychoanalyst. He said the de details of the types that Oscar Chazo had proposed came easily to him because of his accumulated knowledge of many personality typologies. These typologies were created from research studies by renowned psychiatrists and psychologists he respected, such as Karen Hornet, Eric Fromm, William Sheldon, and many others. In 2010, in the YouTube interview in question, Naranjo mentioned automatic writing again, only this time he did not have time to go into the rest of the story. End quote. 
What Favre is asserting here is that when Naranjo used automatic writing, he used it to describe the free associations part of the definition, meaning a meditative writing process by which you relax your mind and allow words or images to spontaneously come forward. In other words, he was connecting the dots in his mind between Echazo's typologies and all that he had learned through his education and research from other psychiatrists and psychologists. Favre's uh, not making this up, right? Naran himself was very clear that he didn't get his knowledge out of thin air. But in his book, Character Neurosis, he says, quote, in the context of what might be called a meditation and psychotherapy group, I had occasion to find out how the central ideas of protoanalysis, Echazo's work, and more specifically, its ninefold characterology served as a first point of spontaneous crystallization for earlier understandings and for a gradual drawing of associations between my ongoing observations in light of protoanalysis and the standard classical observations of the psychological literature. This backs up what Favre said about him and provides a good backdrop for us when interpreting his automatic writing statement. Now, what exactly was Naranjo learning and then integrating with Echazo's work through the meditative process of automatic writing? In his books, Naranjo talks about Karen Hornet, who said a child can move toward people, compliance, against them, aggression, or away from them, withdrawal. If these sound familiar to you, it's because these eventually were adapted into the Enneagram stances. Naranjo also took the Freudian defense mechanisms and began assigning one for each Enneagram type, such as reaction formation with type one, projection uh, with type six, denial with type eight, and so on. Naranjo also took the eight original personality types of Carl Jung, who created the Myers-Briggs, and corresponded those with Enneagram types. Naranjo furthermore also made another significant contribution by correlating the Enneagram with the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, the DSM, which is still used today in the mental health profession to diagnose personality disorders. So uh, as you can see, Naranjo did not just get his knowledge out of thin air, like Moses receiving the Ten Commandments, or Joseph Smith receiving a revelation from an angel or a demon. That's not what happened. And not to beat a dead horse here, but I want to point to you to a second reliable source in addition to Favre, and that is renowned Enneagram expert Beatrice Chestnut, who also studied under Naranjo like Favre in the 90s. Beth and Jeff McCord, founders of Your Enneagram Coach, reached out to Beatrice personally for her thoughts on the automatic writing controversy. And here's what she had to say. Quote, when Naranjo says automatic writing, I think that's a turn of phrase. I think what he meant was he started intuiting things connected to what he learned from Echazo. Now, I don't think this intuition Naranjo used to flush out the Enneagram types and subtypes, etc., came from nowhere. For all of us, our intuitions often come to us because we have created a foundation in our hearts, minds, and bodies for creative ideas based on what we have studied and trained in. I think for Naranjo, what he added to the Enneagram to articulate it to a Western audience came, in part, from his deep, deep knowledge of the psychological academic literature, spirituality, literature, art, as well as his experience as a psychiatrist and working with people in his groups and workshops over many years. It was also an outgrowth of observing people over time in his workshops in an ongoing way and working with Fritz Perls to develop gestalt therapy and his practice of other forms of psychotherapy, including psychoanalysis and psychodrama. It was like he was experiencing the people and the types and then he would write about them and expand the details on them. And part of his process was articulating what he was seeing through a kind of meditative writing practice. Beatrice also added why she thinks Naranjo was so provocative in his 2010 YouTube interview. As we saw in the video, the men, including the friend who gave him the idea to call them any types many years ago, were shocked by Naranjo's claim that he got it from automatic writing. So what's going on here? Well, here is what Beatrice had to say about that. Quote, it's also important to know that Naranjo was a bit of a trickster. He may be using this kind of phrase to push people's buttons, to evoke their biases. 
and the reaction against him can be seen as an example of people falling for his tricks, for reacting from ego and instinct to something that sounds scary rather than seeking to understand in a larger sense what the Enneagram is all about to support true growth and transformation. What Chestnut is saying is that she thinks Naranjo was intentionally being provocative in this interview to either draw you in or push you away. That was his teaching style. And she thinks the really strong knee-jerk reaction that we've seen against Naranjo proves that this in fact was what he was doing. Finally, one last brief point I wanna make is that when people say that Naranjo received the Enneagram from a demon, they imagine that he downloaded the entire Enneagram system as we know it today, but that's simply not the case. As we've seen, he took the ego types from Achazo and built a psychological profile around them. Not only that, but much of what we have today and teach today about the Enneagram didn't come from Naranjo, but rather Don Riso and Russ Hudson, who came up with the levels of health for each type, including the basic fears, basic desires, and childhood messages. So most of the popular Enneagram material we have today couldn't have come from a demon anyways. All right, you made it through the entire lesson. Nice work. Well, next up, we get to talk about how the Enneagram moved from Naranjo to pop culture in the next module. But for now, here are the key takeaways. First, the primary reason many believe the Enneagram is demonic is because of a June 2010 interview where Naranjo claims to have received the Enneagram through automatic writing. Second, although Naranjo never said the words, many assume automatic writing means he received the Enneagram by channeling spirits. Third, Catherine Favre, who studied under Naranjo, said he used automatic writing based on one aspect of the definition, spontaneous free associations, not the part about spirits or psychic forces. And Beatrice Chestnut, who also studied under Naranjo, said he used automatic writing to meet a meditative writing process whereby he connected what he learned from psychological literature and observations as a psychiatrist to what he received from Echazo.